CSS text decorations allow us to bring attention to important content on our website by creating underlines. We're going to take a look at how this happens and ways we can customize it. You've probably seen this applied every day by default in A tags that have a link. These are visible with an underline. While these may also turn blue, the use of a CSS text decoration provides greater accessibility for those people who might be colorblind to understand that the item is clickable. There are other different ways that text decorations are applied and we're going to go through them in this video, such as behaviors like a strikeout effect or even applying a hover. My name's Adrian and I do videos around design and development, so if you do like this kind of content and you want to see more like it, hit like and subscribe and let's just jump straight into it. Let's start off with something simple and what we're going to do is just write an example of text decoration in practice. What we're going to do as well is wrap this in a span where we can apply some CSS to it. And we're just going to apply the default text decoration value of underline. This will provide us with an underline on that text block. It will also match the color of that text block. So for example, if we were to change this to red, the underline would also stay red. We have to be careful though, because otherwise, if we're not, then this might be confused as a hyperlink. So be careful when applying it. For example, you might want a clickable event that calls a JavaScript function. And in that case, you might manually want to set a text decoration. Or for example, if you have a bit of bold text, which you want to outline as extra important. So what sort of tags essentially have a text decoration on by default? Well, you've probably already seen this in practice for egg tags. As an A tag that has a hyperlink, then the underscore is applied by default. Now this allows for greater accessibility. Some people might be colorblind and by doing so, they might not realize it's a hyperlink unless that underscore is there below it. So the text decoration is definitely useful in that. But certain websites like Wikipedia might have hyperlinks all over the place. So they override this text decoration value with none and it's only visible on a hover effect. That's a little bit better in terms of UI, but a little bit less in accessibility. So it's really a balancing act on how you want to work with this. Text decoration also allows for a number of different values to be passed through. It doesn't just have to be an underline. For example, we could do a line through and this would make it look like it's been stricken out. And it's a good way to show that you might be editing a web page and removing certain items. Of course, there's other properties as well, such as overline. And this puts a line at the very top of the parameter. And you can combine these. You can have an overline, you can have an underline, and you could even have a line through. If you want to be more specific on how you create your text decorations, you can use some of its sub properties. And these include setting the text decoration line, the text decoration style, and the text decoration color. Let's take a look at some of these. Over here for the A tag, I'm going to create a text decoration color. I'm going to set this as red. So now we can see that hyperlink has a red underline on it, which is pretty cool. We can also do a text decoration line. And over here, we can do a different line. Instead of the underline, we can pass in the line through. And this overrides the default behavior we have on the global property over here. But in this case, I'm going to remove these two. And lastly, we have the text decoration style. And this is a little bit more interesting because instead of having a solid line, we can create a dashed line, for example, or we could even create a wavy line, which looks pretty cool. And that way we can create more interesting elements for the text decoration style. Let's see if we can combine all these principles together. For this span, what we're gonna do is we're gonna manually set the de text decoration line to underline. Next, we'll set the text decoration color here and maybe we'll set this to something different like this odd blue color that we have here. And finally, let's change the text decoration line style here and we'll change this style to maybe a double. This way, it's abundantly clear that this is more important text that people should notice when they're reading, but it's very different to the hyperlink we might have placed on the website all over the place. And this is a good use of text decoration in practice. I hope this video gave you a better understanding of using the CSS text decoration property. It's very useful for making sure that we have great accessibility for our website and we make content a little bit easier for people to read. 
If you did like this video, hit like, hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.